Did you know Netflix is paying Barack and Michelle Obama millions to produce shows like this one, the G word. G stands for government. As Netflix documentaries go, this one's remarkable because it's so stupid. Yes, we can. President Obama famously said, Yes, we can. Yes, we can. The American people can do amazing things. But once in office, it became clear that to Obama, we meant government. Government can, if smart people like him are in charge. And that's what his six-part series preaches, big government propaganda. Obama begins by saying he does his own taxes. It's actually easy. Easy? I guess he's joking. The tax code's so complex, it drives Americans to pay accountants billions. But the president says he does his own. I'm amazing at them. And you can be too, if you use the helpful tools found at irs.gov. Is that a joke? I don't know. Much of the series is like a bad joke, hosted by this silly comedian. I, for one, am an idiot. Adam Conover uses his time with the president to do things like make sandwiches. Do you uh, still make your own sandwiches a lot? No. That's an extremely precise spread. You have to get every corner. Conover gets to spend time with the president of the United States and they make sandwiches? What's the point? It's not even funny. They do cover some serious issues like meat inspection. But instead of honest reporting, they do skits suggesting without government, meat companies would sell us poisoned rats. All the meats are covered in dead poison rats. What do you say we do? Sounds like a new flavor of sausage to me. Food regulation was unbelievably successful. Hold it, food is largely safe today because slaughterhouses clean themselves up way beyond what government requires. Companies don't want bad reputations. By contrast, the feds inspected meat by sticking spikes into carcasses and smelling them. Poke and sniff, they called it. They kept using the same spikes so they sometimes spread disease. They only stopped poke and sniff in the 1990s. At least Obama's series does admit that some government agencies mess things up. I'm talking about FEMA. Not a name you normally hear after the words, did a great job. No, but Conover and Obama's solution, it's always the same, spend more. How many lives could have been saved if FEMA had had the resources they needed? Had the resources? Federal disaster relief has increased by billions. FEMA fails because it's a government bureaucracy. And those fail so dramatically that even the media notice. Millions of bottles of water sitting on a runway since last year. The free market would have gotten it to people. But the G word sneers at this philosophy that the free market should be trusted over the government. But it should be. After Hurricane Katrina, Walmart donated supplies much more efficiently than FEMA. Why would Walmart do it better? They have a massively sophisticated weather system that allows them to track where we need to surge in assets before a storm. Another part of Obama's documentary calls those of us who are skeptical of government racists. In the wake of the civil rights movement, some Americans began to resent the fact that the government was now providing assistance to black and brown citizens as well. Wait, that's just wrong. We didn't resent welfare because of racism. We objected because it created a new permanent underclass. As President Reagan said, government handouts. Encourage them to stay on the welfare rolls longer and discourage work. Because Reagan opposed some handouts, Obama's documentary depicts him as this vicious surgeon. We'll just cut the housing department by 70% and staff it with a bunch of anti-housing capitalists. But the free market hardly took over under Reagan. Federal spending went up. It always goes up. When government's excesses became so obvious, a Democratic president said, The era of big government is over. But today it's bigger than ever. And that's good, says Conover, because during COVID, government rescued us by raining money on us. Stimulus checks, small business loans, and corporate tax breaks. They don't mention how much of that money went to fraud or that spending so much created inflation. Although Obama's documentary does occasionally acknowledge handouts can create problems. These century old depression era subsidies are still in place. They're going straight to big agriculture. But they never suggest cutting them. For three hours, President Obama and his sidekicks say government should do more. 
and would if the right people had the power of kings. There's no president who was ever elected who doesn't at some point think, ah, you know, make me, you know, king for a day. Now, Obama does say America shouldn't have kings, but he's clearly thought about it, as have others. I alone can fix it. This arrogance is the big lesson the G word misses. Washington always wants more money, more power. Let's not give it to them. Glad you watched this video. Netflix won't give me millions of dollars to make videos, but I'll keep making them. Thanks for your support. Subscribe and hit the notification bell to make sure you get the next one.